All right, I'm gonna try to do a little review on this circuit for Tesla coils, which I think is the best circuit out there to get nice sparks with low voltage DC supplies like batteries or power supplies. This is the Tefatronics or a scory design but with some some modifications i am using two irfc 44n mosfets but any almost any channel n mosfet with some nice capabilities would work the circuit itself this is the main circuit, it's pretty simple. And as you can see, the primary has a center tap, and the beginning and the end goes out of this of the drain of the MOSFETs, which is the middle middle leg. Also, you could use the back of the of the MOSFET because because it's the same. Then I used a ferrite core with with ten turns of two different wires, and that's your um, current transformer something like that your CT and then you need two back-to-back sinners 12 volts sinners it can be 10 volt or 15 too and, and then a potentiometer this gives the gates just enough voltage so the circuit start oscillating and you need to be careful to just start raising it till you see the circuit start working because if you keep raising it you will blow the gates and kill the muffets then you can add these snowers which are one nanofarad capacitors between gate and source but those are not necessary just extra for protect protection <clears throat> um, this if you put this circuit just like this it would give you and CW plasma but if you want to interrupt it you need to use some kind of interrupter this is a external interrupter with TL494 and IRFC44 MOSFET and 15 volt regulator right there <clears throat> then I use a boost module and capacitor bank. <clears throat> I have this capacitor which gives me the frequency. If I put a bigger capacitor, the frequency the frequency of the interrupter would be lower, and with a smaller capacitor the frequency would, would be higher with this is a uh, one nanofarad capacitor i'm gonna try to show a little a little performance if i turn the potentiometer back it would stop working and if i turn it up it starts working again
you can also interrupt it by putting the gates to ground just like the Fatronic gem but I found this to be more simple you can also use a 555 timer just any PWM and a MOSFET to handle the high current and voltage as you can see the negative is going to the source of both MOSFETs and the positive goes to the potentiometer and to the center tap one of the windings of the CT uh, is this one and is the bottom of the secondary and the other the other end goes to negative and then the other one winding the white one goes goes to one goes to both gates one end to one gate and the other end to the other so it's pretty simple.